what I do and what I become, um, it, it definitely is built on built on what I put into it. But it's all a major factor of that is also the, the 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 freedom that you not only get from the departments you work with, but also the help you get along the way. Um, I've created experience uh, uh, working opportunities at the Campbell Clinic, like I talked about, at the Med. I uh, set that up as a freshman. Um, I have, I've done research and am still doing research at, at the University of Tennessee. I take a class there that I had to set up on my own. I mean, there's lots of stuff that I have made happen, but in no way could I have done it on my own. So the greatest impa impact while I've been here has been everyone's, or er, everyone's willingness to say, oh, okay, so you don't want to do this, well then what do you want to do? You know, and I'll be like, well, this is what I want to do. And I'll go out and try to set some of it up, but I've also had lots of help from the administra administrative offices here. Applying to medical school was uh, not fun at all. It was, uh, it was a long process. Um, they, they run you ragged. They ask for, uh, or medical schools, I mean, ask for any, any and every document under the sun. They want essays on top of essays. You know, whenever you turn in your primary application, each school sends you a secondary to fill out. So it's, it's almost like it just really never stops. But at the same time that it was a, a pretty, I mean, just, just very tiring experience, it was also, because perspective is a big thing for me, I was, I was always able to say, okay, this is just part of the game. This is just part of the thing you have to do to someday do what you love. Dr. Jaslow, who is the um, kind of medical school advisor down the biology department, uh, started this program called uh, Virtual Evaluation to where I would go out and ask three or four of my kind of, you know, mentors to write letters of recommendation for me, and then he would compile those all into one big letter and submit those, and he was a great resource through, through the whole uh, experience. Another student that is a, a biology major, biology major, Sini uh, Wobi, came up to me and said, hey, let's plan a medical mission trip. And I was like, uh, what are you talking about? How are we gonna do this? Let's forget it and just kinda jump into something that's already been established. And she said, no, no, let's really do this. So I kinda listened to her idea, which was to go to uh, Nigeria. That's where her father's from, uh, a small village in Nigeria. She said, let's, let's raise money, let's get medical equipment, let's uh, uh, get uh, m different medications donated, and let's take it over there and uh, take it to clinics, let's volunteer in the clinics, let's just see another side of medicine. So, and that's all she had to say to me, and I was sold. So, so she and I planned from the ground up, we did everything. We, um, we raised money through fundraisers, uh, benefit parties that we threw, we wrote uh, letters to physicians that had graduated from Rhodes and uh, got in enormous support uh, from them, both financially and with uh, encouraging remarks and just with, uh, just, I mean, we got so many letters saying you guys are doing a great thing, keep going, here's an idea, here's some suggestions about how to raise money. So it, it was great to get that support from alumni. And uh, when we got over to Nigeria, it was definitely a whole nother world. It was, it, it was very sad to see a lot of the things that, that I saw over there as far as how people live, but it was also very encouraging to see a people that, you know, they have, they have nothing uh, and, and they, <laughs> but, but they still maintain such high standards for themselves as far as general living conditions and as far as also in the medical care and, and what they expect of themselves and their, their hospitals. My interests right now uh, as far as working in the medical field really lie in orthopedics. Um, I've, I've basically picked that up through my close uh, working relationships with the Campbell Clinic and specifically w working for uh, Dr. Jeffrey Sawyer. He is a uh, pediatric orthopedist here in Memphis and um, just working alongside Dr. Sawyer has, has really, really influenced me to enter not only orthopedics but the pediatric realm. Um, it's, it, it has just been beautiful watching him deal with not only the children themselves but the families and just watching how, how you have to, I mean it's a child that you're treating but you're also treating the family. It's, it's, it's kind of a, a neat um, kind of relationship there. And um, something else that's, that's great about working with kids is it's not always, you know, a shoulder or a knee that you see with your, uh, you know, geriatric patients or even with your adult patients. But with the kids, you'll, you'll, have, you'll have a kid come in who, uh, who is just born with um, maybe one leg shorter than the other. And he or she never could have run with the other boys and girls and just knowing, you know, I've seen these procedures take place to where they can get back out there and, and, and maintain normal, healthy lives. And to know that someday I could be a part of that, 
is the best thing I can imagine. I, nothing gets me more stoked than that. I first heard about the Loose Fellowship or uh, Loose Scholarship uh, in a class that I took uh, last year with Dr. Uh, Drs. Kenny Morrell and Michael LaRosa. It was a postgraduate fellowship course where uh, it was just an opportunity for students to learn about different opportunities uh, after graduation. And um, I took the class because I, I knew it would be time set aside to work on uh, like the personal statements that you had to do for it and, re and really how to really how to um, make a, a, a great portfolio for those uh, scholarships. And I thought, you know, oh, I could, I could apply for the Rhodes, the Gates, the Marshall, all those that are kind of the, the more prestigious to study for a couple years after you graduate type of experiences. And um, there for a little bit, that's what I planned to do. I did, I, I did most of my research on the Rhodes. I started writing up a proposal about what I wanted to study and this and that. And one night, just out of nowhere, I said, okay, stop. You gotta be honest with yourself do you really want to go and study for one or two more years after and do some, do some program that you're not really sold into? Or do you want to go abroad and do some amazing like working experience or, or maybe some just traveling experience? And I decided that, no, between college and medical school, I want to go do something besides study. So I said, okay, what, what is it that interests me? And it was definitely just different cultures and uh, I found that in the loose. Uh, it's an opportunity to, to go abroad to some Asian nation and, uh, and work for a year. There's no study involved in it at all except for language study that you do prior to the trip and also while you're in that country. And um, it was just right up my alley because there was no, there was no uh, proposal needed. Uh, they wanted you to be flexible as where you were going. Uh, they just wanted you to show some interest in Asia and just apply for it. And, and also show that you can be a strong uh, leader. And, and so that's, that's basically what that came down to. I worked with uh, Professor Michael Dromp, and it was just an amazing experience working with him. He, he was by my side uh, from day one, and he was just a great, a great resource. Um, so be, the, the, one of the things behind the program is you go abroad and work in your field of interest. So people that get the scholarship are in business, in economics, they're into journalism. I mean, you name it, people go over there and do it. So uh, being interested in medicine, I would go over there and do something maybe in a hospital or in rural health or, you know, who knows. But um, what, what, the way it's looking, um, it's looking like I'll be either in Malaysia or the Philippines uh, doing something with disaster relief. And uh, it's just, and, and, and working with somehow how, how that ties in with uh, healthcare. So it's right up my alley. It's, it's, it's service, it's real life, and it's medicine. And, and beyond all that, it's helping people. And that's just kind of what I'm tuned to do. <laughs> I've gotten into both uh, the University of Arkansas uh, in Little Rock and uh, the University of Tennessee here in Memphis. And um, I've applied for state status here in Tennessee. And if I get it, I plan to stay. Uh, and medical school is four years. And then after that, maybe <laughs> join the Campbell Clinic residency, which is a five-year program, which would be amazing. So, I mean, it's, it's just kind of cool to, it's, it's really neat to be accepted and to have that off my shoulders, but to also, you know, a month ago or a month and a half ago, I had no idea what was going on the next five years, and now I know. You know, within a matter of a week, I knew about the loose, and then I knew about medical school. So there you go, five years <laughs> already made up for me.